Bobby, it, it's commonly termed that a bunker shot is one of the easiest shots in the game to play. But that's not exactly so if you don't have the right technique going and if you don't have the right mental concept as to what you should be doing. And my feeling is a lot of treatment to do with the sand play makes the shot more difficult than need be. Meaning to say, if we take the eye focus away from the ball and look behind the ball, in effect, with, with the eyes not on the ball, you're going to have less chance of moving the ball near the target. Exactly. My question would be, why take the eyes off the ball? And the idea that most teaching presents that you play one, two, three inches behind the ball has you focus too much on striking the sand behind the ball, but it doesn't tell you what to do through the ball nor beneath the ball, where it really counts. So we'd like to design a, a little psychological ploy, a little help psychologically, that can assist any bunker player. Now you being a professional player, certainly are more expertise in, in playing a sand shot than the average player. But if the average player has the right idea in playing the sand shot, it can be that much easier for him. We really don't have to make a different swing. We don't have to take the club outside. We don't have to take it higher. We don't even have to open the club that much more than we ordinarily would. But we will do this now. Let's go into this bunker and let's treat the sand shot a little bit differently. Do you have a ball? Yes, I do. OK. And you understand what this household implement is all about? Exactly. I'm going to tee it up, and I'm going to hit it. This is a tee. Probably every, every household is included with tees. Exactly. I'm going, to, I'm going to ask you to put this ball on a tee all right. and submerge the tee into the sand. I'm going to ask you to look at that ball not behind the ball, but I want you to think of the edge of your wedge striking the tee directly in the middle of the tee. Okay. And by so doing, you're causing yourself to do the three necessary things in order to play a sand shot successfully. Because number one, we're swinging through the ball. Right. Number two, we're swinging below the ball. Right. And number three, by thinking of the middle of the tee, we're consistent with the depth below the ball. Because you can imagine the consequences if you strike too near the ball or too far below. Exactly. All right, so do this for me. Put the tee in the sand. Put the ball directly on the tee. And I want you to swing precisely through the middle of that tee. In fact, let's put another tee there, not below the ball. But I want you to take a practice stroke through the tee without the ball, the idea being to swing directly through the tee. OK. Right through the middle of the tee with the edge of your club. That's absolutely perfect. Now move over to the ball. Look at the ball, but think of the tee. Think of stroking through the tee that sits below the ball. Make the normal swing that you would in any other case. It's beautifully played. The ball bounded out, and if we inspect the tee closely, you'll find that you hit it directly in the middle, and in so doing, you actually broke the tee in two. Exactly. But by Swinging through the middle of the tee, you had a safe shot in that you had a little cushion of sand between the club and ball, so there was no likelihood of sculling the shot out of the bunk.